Hey there, everyone. I'm around the wheel, and having just had a robust breakfast of chili and root beer, I am ready to play Lemmings for the Sega Genesis. And we are on the last level of taxing today. We all fall down. Yes, it does look like the game is going to pursue this direction. Quite frankly, I'm a little bit disappointed that they decided to do it up like this, but we're going to go ahead and uh, we need to raise the release rate so we can get everybody out a little faster. Yeah, I think that's probably a good one. Yeah, that puts enough space between them that I don't feel so scared. So we need to get clicking. Get busy clicking or get busy dying is what I say. Although we might be able to pump the release rate up fast enough that you can get two guys walking into one whole space. I don't really want to start experimenting with that right now, though, because I just kind of leapt into this whole hog. And I'm just kind of doing it as I go. Ooh. Okay, yeah, this is getting scary because of the non-precision of the... Okay, but this is working out, I think. Yeah, I have to pause every time I nearly screw disastrously up. Dang, which is a lot. But some of them seem to be walking down and not really doing anything bad to themselves. Okay, I think I accidentally used <clears throat> too many diggers in a certain spot. <clears throat> wow, turns out chilling root beer doesn't clear your throat quite as much as you would like it to. Okay, some people are walking down into holes, and some are, and this is just getting messy and all kinds of dirty. But some people are walking down into the holes, so if I don't panic, I can usually predict with some measure of accuracy who's going to die and who's not, but I am running out of ledge to work with here. I think 70 to 71 is actually about right for two guys to walk down into a digger's hole. Oh, no. Oh! Oh! I just barely didn't nail that. Yeah, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can have a couple guys walk down into... Yeah, this is going to get really gross if we have to do 80 lemmings this way. I think 60 is really about the upper limit for the length of ledge they give you in the Genesis version. That's just... That's just naughty. Uh, maybe we can let some lemmings fall off, though. Actually, you know what? I am going to try this. Let's see how fast I can pump things up before... There we go. Yeah, 75. Let's see how 75 does it as far as letting guys walk out. And yes, of course, we want to go all the way to the end of the ledge to give ourselves the proper amount of time. Maybe if we go 25 and one guy walks through, maybe if the release rate is 75, two guys will walk through. Maybe one will, like, walk over. But let's, well, let's see how this works out, actually. Maybe if I get maybe if I get two guys to dig, then one can go down into everybody else's hole. Let's see how that pattern works. Okay, yeah, one, two. That actually works, I think. So let's uh And then he can walk. One, two, and then he can walk. Okay, so this one needs to go. Okay, I need to keep really good track of this then. One, two, walk. One. Oh no, somebody got out. Crap. How did that happen? Well, you can do it, but it takes a certain amount of exactitude for sure. Uh, is this worth fidgeting with? Okay, well, in the end, I just decided to be really meticulous and try to use all my diggers anyway. And I ended up with three spares. I'm not sure how that works. I guess I let a few slip through the cracks at some point, but I don't think it really affected my overall performance. Now, if I have to do that in Mayhem, things could get really messy, but... I don't really spend, feel like spending a whole lot of time on a we all fall down level, so we're just gonna we're just gonna cut to the part where I uh, where I managed to use all my diggers to make it out safely, and there we have it. We're through the taxing levels, and now we're on level one of mayhem, which is going to be a new level. It's not going to be steelworks, if you remember, as we cycled through the menus at the beginning of the game. Level 1 is not Steelworks like you would normally think. It's... Oh, yes, I almost forgot about this little doodad right here. That rating cleared. Next rating is... Mayhem. Lemmings have weird handwriting. Like, the ends of their letters are all fat and goobledy for some reason. Like, they paint the letters on their signs, and then they leave the paintbrush lingering for, like, five seconds so that there's a really fat dot at the end of the... Let's get together... Loving you forever. I am definitely not the Reverend Al Green, that's for sure. That was an embarrassing moment. 
50 lemmings, and I gotta save all of them in two minutes. That's, ooh, this is, we got shades of lemmingology here. How many entrances are there? Oh, just the, just the one. Okay, so there is definitely a way out here that is, okay, let's see, where, where do we get to, first off and foremost? Okay, we're gonna have to, we're all gonna have to somehow end up, whoa, I have to save all of them, so my two builders obviously go here. Okay, let's see. Let's see how that works out for me. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so somehow I'm going to have to keep everybody... Okay, they're coming out at a rate of 60. All right, and we're going to have to keep everybody... We're going to have to get everybody into a hole somehow, preferably this one, and have them bash out this way. While I have a guy do something else in this direction. Let's see how I can get that to work. I have two bashers. And one... Okay, okay. I think I can I think I think can work this out. How, how far over do they go, though? They go all the way over to here. They all, go, they all go over here. So... How do we get them in with... Okay, we can't get them into the fire, obviously. We gotta save all of them. So how do we how do we get them into the in crowd here? This is a conundrum because I was thinking of trying to find a way to just uh Oh, well no. No, you got to bash out of here at some point. You got to get these guys out of here. I was going to say we could bash through this and then have them bash through this to let them kind of all go into this little formation over here, but I have to bash out somehow. I do have to get out of there somehow and get everybody else out. And it takes... I'm definitely going to need my two builders right here. So the hard part is figuring out where to bash and where to dig. Hmm. So that... Let's see. Okay, I definitely got to get... It. Okay, let's see where they walk first of all. Okay, He's walking, he's going, he's not going to be able to fall off or go down or anything. And if I bash through to the left, everybody dies. So I think I definitely need to bash through here somehow, or maybe dig. Um, let's see how this works out. I think what I'm going to have to do, I think what I'm going to do... Let's get it okay. Let's get it pumped up here. I definitely want to get a release rate going here. Okay, we only have two minutes to do this though, so I need to get this. I need to let this not fill up so quickly. Um, actually, I need to have a guy. Well, no, I can't have it fill up too quick because they'll all go off and they'll eventually go down into here, and there's no way out from there because they're gonna go through here and they're gonna go in here. And they'll eventually go into the fire. So. So I have to get them down here. I guess. How do I get how do I get just a single guy over here though? Oh wow, boy, they wow, they really pumped up the difficulty curve quickly. I was not expecting to have so much trip, but then again it is mayhem, so I what was I expecting, I guess. What do I need to do here? Um Let's find... I, I wish you could, like, bash your way into here somehow. Is there a way to get it to where... No, they all have to get across here, so that is going to take my two builders. I need to look at this really closely. I'm going to... I'm just going to go with something for the start, though. Let's go ahead and... This is probably the wrong thing to do, but... Okay, yeah. Because they're all going to go... They're all going to go up in this... Well, hold on. No, if I start bashing through here... Okay, yeah, they all get into the exit eventually. No, but see, I don't have any bashers left for when they go through here. So that's the main problem. And I already let too many guys out. There's nobody left behind up here that can dig to get out of that mess. But I think bashing through here is definitely key... It's getting out of here that I need to think about. Unless I can just... Man, I don't really see a way out of it. Though. There's no way to dig out of here at this point. Ugh! 
look at it just just I'll be back after I've looked at it okay I think I've got this one figured out I'm gonna leave the release rate at 60 for now and I'm gonna get a guy to come through I need a guy going to the left but I need him to dig through this uh, I need him to dig through this column hopefully they don't meet up at roughly the same point okay yeah so here they come oh no I didn't want that guy to fall from there dang it okay but one of them is okay is well Okay, yeah, nobody can get past him, though. That's kind of the idea. But I wanted a guy going to the left, and I should have pumped up the release rate much faster as well. Should have gotten that guy out way faster. Well, I don't suppose it matters, because I need him to bash to the left. See, he'll bash to the left, and then he can build to the exit all by himself, you know, if I manage to hit the button. And then they can bash out to the left and they're, when they're done. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to pull off, but it might be a little bit tough. Maybe if I'm able to dig in such a spot where he kind of goes through, but he doesn't make a hole until he gets into these little divots, maybe that's the idea. Maybe if I can get him to go over a little far to the left of what I want him to, and then everybody just goes down once. Okay, I was just one pixel too far over, but that's the idea. Okay, he's digging, and nobody is going to splat now. Okay, perfect. Get that release rate up. And now, get that release rate up. Get all those guys in the hole. And then I can just have him bash over, since they're going to be doing their own thing. They can walk up into that little hole. Perfect. Okay, well, if I had done that at the wrong point, that maybe could have also been its own little form of disaster. But, as it turns out, it's not. So, let's build a cross. And I might have to do a stretchy bridge for this. Okay, once everybody's in the hole, then I just have the little matter of bashing out, which, since I can't assign a walker going to the left, that's no good. Oh, for the days of Lim Mini, that would have been just glorious. And now we just need to bash a guy out of here at the right moment. What is the right moment, though? Will I pull this off? That's... I hate it when those levels, when these levels come down to that, because it wasn't a matter of luck in Lim Mini, and now I miss Lim Mini, and I'm completely spoiled like a baby. And it just so happened to work there, which is good. That's amazing. Turns out all of this over here, just a whole lot of whamp. And that didn't work out too well for that. Maybe we'll get to do the boiler room next, though. Maybe we'll start off with a couple of hell levels, which would be just so perfectly symbolic for Mayhem, would it not? And I love that. I love that Mayhem. That just really... They really picked the right word there. It really captures what's bad about these levels, what can, how they can get so hectic sometimes. Yes, we do get to play the boiler room. That one, this one is a fascinating one. This one was fun to figure out when I was a kid. It was like, okay, yeah, it's a, oh, this is definitely much scarier than it was in the PC version. This may be how it looks in the Amiga version, but, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's crank up that release rate. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and get guys coming out now. We just need to build over to, uh, where do we need to build over to? Usually I just let him drop. Oh yeah, we build over to this thing right here. Oh, I hope I I hope he builds in such a way that he's uh, done with his bridge by the time at some point between the beginning of this ledge and the end of this wall. I hope he finishes his uh hope he finishes up in that particular way. Okay, but yeah, we're going to have to really you can't get past this thing. It's impossible even when it looks possible. It's not, but there's no way it even looks possible here. They really, looks like they really hammer home that uh, it is not a possible thing. So, let's, okay, we're going to be building over here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and let him stretch out his last bridge. I think that'll do it. And then we will get, uh, we'll get cracking over on this end. We need to start from about here, and we need to go up through here. It shouldn't take ten bombers to do that. Or nine, I guess, technically. All right, fall down. Fall down and fall out. Okay. Now, I think from about right here, ought to maybe nail it. We also want to maybe... It might come down to having to plug up a hole over here so that nobody gets any funny ideas about walking off into the fire. So, let's try... Let's try, let's try, let's try a little tenderness here. Let's try a little bridge stretching, actually. That's probably a better idea. That way he doesn't hit his head. And I think he might have actually hit his head had I not stretched the bridge, so it was a necessity there. Excellent, yes, now we can really cram up with the bridges and get in nice and tight. In fact, I may be able to solve all my problems with this guy. Okay. Alright, let's plug up the hole. Oh, nice and good. Dang it. Okay, yeah, well... 
I guess we can plug up the hole really nicely if we try. I'd rather he not mess with this over here, though. I'm going to try to plug the hole. I'm going to build a lot of bridges, and I'm going to try to accomplish this with just one guy. The problem, though, with doing it with just one guy is that... Okay. Okay, yes, we've got this plugged up. We've got it plugged up and plugged in. And we are wired for sound. Okay, we're going to build a lot of one-tile bridges because we need something. We need some insurance that we can blow through here. Basically, the idea is I want to get him to actually come over the top. I'm going to keep building in this little nook right here until he actually goes... Well, that's not quite it. Until he actually goes, like, up and over the... Like, up through the ledge. I'm going to try to glitch him up through the ledge. There it is. Okay, yes. Now he has plenty of blast away room. And we're going to blow him up. And we're going to blow our other guy up. No! What are you doing? Okay. Alright, well, one guy is going to die just for shits and giggles, but... <laughs> okay, good thing he didn't accidentally end up blowing through the ledge there. That would have been just a nightmare. And I think they can actually... Oh, good. I don't have to do any additional building. They can just walk up into that, I think. So that one ended up uh, not being too bad. That's great. So I think we might probably have time for one more, especially if it's the uh, the one-minute level that I think is coming up is coming up. Then, uh, then we definitely have time for it, I think. And we're going to go ahead and get it out of the way. Yeah, they all just walk straight in. I don't think I've ever done that level that clean before. I usually just let everybody come in, and then I do a bunch of blocking, bombing, blocking, bombing. But it's perfectly possible with just one guy. And that was, ooh, that was as clean as you're going to get that, I think. That was really nicely done, if I, do, if, I may, if, I, if I may toot the unmodesty horn for a minute. Yes, it is hero time. It's time to get our hero on. This is one of those fun levels that I really like, where you get one of every task. And we have one minutes to do it. Okay, so, let's see. We're going to, if I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, we're going to mine right here. Okay. And then a guy is going to bash through here. And one guy is going to make it up over the, okay, one guy did not make it up over the deal. Okay, well, if they all turn around, I don't think it'll make a difference either way. But I don't think they're all going to turn around. Oh, no. Several of them got through the block there. Okay, I needed the second guy to... Okay, well, I can just have the first guy, if I get the second guy to mine, okay, yeah, this one usually, this one usually takes a little bit of finesse, I don't always get it on the first try, but that's okay, and we've already lost, so we may as well nuke these guys, oh no, you think you're making it to exit town, not so easy, you do gotta plug up this little gap right here, though, just to kinda give everybody time to maneuver, so, that is the only bad part about that. I'm actually going to do this slightly differently. I still want the second guy to be a miner. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. And I still want... Well, it's more important that we make him a climber first. Don't let me forget to make him a floater. And I want this guy to bash still. Oh, hey, that actually worked out a little better than I wanted. So he's going to go over now. Okay, some are going to get out through the wall there. Others are going to go through this little acid bash thing that we've got going. Okay, so now he's going to plug up that little hole right there. Okay, some of them are going to make it and some are, uh, some have quite a walk ahead of them. I hope they can make it. I hope they can make it. That's the thing. you got to get the time crunch going in this level. Can they make... Oh boy. Oh gosh. It all depends on if they can make that walk in a... Okay, they can make that walk in less than half the time. Okay, they only made that walk in like 10 seconds, so... Now they're scaring me, though. They gotta all get turned around by like the 15 second mark, I think. Oh, gosh. Oh, please, guys. Please don't make a fool out of me here. You got 10 seconds to make that walk. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go with, I think, my first idea. In order to make this a little bit more complete. You're not gonna make it, are you? You're not gonna make it. Well, shit. Well, what I was going to try earlier before it looked like everything was going to work out all nice and fine was I was going to have him mine, still have my guy go ahead. Then I was going to have him bash. Okay, a guy got over. That's not what I wanted, but I was going to try to have him... Okay, let's see if I can... Uh, 
Okay, yeah, let's see if I can highlight the basher at all. Okay, the basher gets kind of lost in the fray there, but I wanted to have him build and stop the wall entirely. That still gives them time to turn around, but one guy got over, so yeah. It's going to take some pausing, and I'm going to have to really hunt for the basher. But I can speed this along by just pumping a little through the wall and then building to stop, I think. And boom. Okay, yes, the hole is sealed. So now, yeah, I have to do it a little differently, I think. It's a little different than what I'm accustomed to. And I'm also going to do the trick where I can make the guy fall a little faster by not making him floater, except for during his fall. That'll just give everybody just that much more time. Usually you're able to cheat time a little by pausing at the beginning of the level, but Genesis doesn't let you do that, so you actually have to come up with something a little bit trickier and a little bit different. There they go tweaking my expectations again, making things that didn't usually seem hard to me just a little harder than they would be normally. And I have tons of time left over this time. Holy crap, I might just do it that way every time from now on. That saved a hell of a lot of time, and it got me my 100%, so we're going to stop there for today. The next level is another one minute but I'm kind of getting headachey. That one I had to think about real quick. That one I had to kind of do just ever so slightly differently, and it was that, was, that made it really interesting. You don't always expect to have to do that from these, from these levels that you've played, you know, 10, 25, 50 times. You don't always expect that. And so that's when I really get tripped up is when that expectation is subverted by the technical limitations of the Genesis. Great level choice, or great music choice for that level, by the way. I did want to mention that. It really added to the pressure. But that's it. Level 4 coming up next time, and I'll see you guys then.